Hello and welcome to the other channel. Today we're taking five professional gooners and giving them the chance to date a living, breathing woman. This is a monumental moment for all of these gentlemen's lives and I'm extremely excited to see how this goes. The woman's name is Morgana, so we're gonna go ahead and meet her now. Hi, I'm Morgana, I'm 32 years old, I'm an attorney and I'm a Capricorn and I read my horoscope today and it told me that Leos are gonna be very competitive, so. Do you think you're gonna find your husband here today? I hope so. What are you looking for in a man? Someone smart, funny, successful, um, just a big personality, oh, someone yeah. who's fun. That makes a lot of sense. We've got great personalities here today, a couple of them from Craigslist, so it's gonna be a banger. You're gonna find someone perfect. Hi, my name's Austin, uh, I'm 30 years old, I'm a lawyer, and uh, I think what will make me stand out today is uh, I think that I'm a very emotionally mature person. I can read my partner pretty well, and I think that that will be visible and uh, make me make me rise above the rest. So, I'm pretty excited. Hi, I'm Jordan. It's my snake oasis, 25 years old. I'm a young entrepreneur. I rescue animals and sell plants. And uh, uh, compared to the other guys, you know, I stand out because uh, my passion for wildlife, my passion for animals, you know, holding up nine foot snakes. So I don't think the other guys are gonna do that. Hi, my name is Mitch. I'm 28 years old. I'm a logistics coordinator, which is basically a truck driver. I do long distance traveling across the country. And what I feel makes me stand out is my ambition. Hi, my name is Roman. I'm 18 years old. I am rather young, especially with this crowd here. Apparently, oldest one's 30. Jeez. I go to USF, which I'm a freshman, and I'm planning on doing mostly acting in the future. And what I think will set me out from the crowd is my charisma and confidence. Hi, I'm Ryan, I'm 29. I work in cybersecurity. Um, and what sets me apart from my competition is I, I feel like I'm a good listener uh, and I have an adorable Pomeranian. So now you've got to meet all of the contestants who are battling for the heart of our lovely lady, Morgana. We're gonna bring them out individually to sell themselves to her. They're gonna be doing elevator pitches blindfolded and she will be ranking them based on their personality and how well she vibed with them. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Morgana, nice to meet you. Morgana, that's a lovely name. Thank I'm Austin. Thank you, Austin, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Do you wanna tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my name's Austin, uh, I'm 30 years old, uh, I'm a lawyer, um, and I'm excited to uh, get to know you today and, I don't know, see where things go from there. Um, cool, so what, what kind of stuff do you like to do for fun outside of being a lawyer? Uh, I like to cook, um, I think I'm a really good cook. Uh, so, you know, I can cook you up something nice. What, do, you have a, do you have a favorite dish? I don't know, maybe like some pasta or something? Ooh, okay. What's your signature? Yeah, I was gonna say pasta carbonara. That's my, that's my go-to. That's a good one. Yeah, I like to cook, I like to read. I, I play a lot of video games. Um, I, play, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends on the weekend. It's pretty nerdy, but uh, yeah. Okay, well, thanks, Austin. Hi, who am I talking to over there? Hi, this is Jordan. I'm 25 years old. I'm a uh, wildlife biologist. I uh, run an animal rescue. Love animals, very passionate about wildlife and nature and all kinds of things like that. Uh, how do you feel about older women? Um, you know, pretty, pretty good. Depends. What does it depend on? If you're good looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why do you think I should choose you? Well, do you like adventure? Do you like things that are kind of out of the ordinary? Do you like following the path or do you like kind of getting off the path where it's less seen, more adventures. I guess it depends. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Jungles, uh, islands, into the, into the Everglades. Okay, into the Everglades. Nah, scared of gators, snakes. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, I'd protect you, don't worry about that. So if we're in the Everglades and a gator comes and tries to attack us, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'd jump on it for you. Don't worry about it. All right, well, what was your name again? Jordan. Jordan. All what right. was yours? Morgana.
pleasure to meet you, Morgana. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my name is Mitch. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Mitch. Mitch. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, born and raised in Florida. Um, okay. I'm 27. Uh, I'm a truck driver. I've been to almost every 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 state in the country. I'm a cat lover. I love cats. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big foodie, uh, and I occasionally, when I when I have the chance, uh, I'm a gamer when I have a chance. And uh, I love to travel. I love being spontaneous, and I just like I just like to go with the vibe of life. Um, so, how many cats do you have? Six. Wow. Yeah. Well, I have six that I own to myself, but I have like a large magnitude of cats because uh, I, I, I raise them and I give them away to happy homes. What's your ideal type, or what's your usual type that you go for? I don't have I don't have a type. I like any and everybody, as okay. long as we can coincide together and you know like pretty much have the same, be on the same frequency in life. Like I'm cool with everybody. So would you say you're more like an ass or a tits man? <laughs> Um, she doesn't have to have either. She doesn't have to have, have to be have to be cute, but she doesn't have to have either. I, I have no preference. So what about you? An ass or a tits woman? Yeah. Um, they gotta have both. Gotta have both. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Okay, well, it was nice to meet you, Mitch. Thank you. Nice to meet you also. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Morgana. I'm Roman. Pleasure Ro to meet you. Roman, nice. To, are you okay over there? Uh, just just a little bit of a complications regarding okay. a leg injury, but other than that, I'm fine. Okay, what, what happened? So it's a little bit of a funny story, actually. I was at a trampoline park, right? So I'm jumping around, absolutely beaming kids with dodgeballs, right, right in, I got a kid really good right in the face, made my day, and then this ruined my day. So I landed just normally. Snap in my right leg. I'm curious how often you and your friends go to the trampoline park. Well, not, not often anymore, but that was my first time in four years, so my body wasn't accustomed, I'm afraid. Um, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Of course. I go to USF right now. Okay. I'm a theater major. How old are you? Mm. I am 23. Mm. Um, well, thank you. Wait, what was your name again? Roman. Roman, that's right. Well, nice to meet you, Roman. Nice to meet you, Morgana. It's a pleasure. It's Morgana. Morgana? Oh, no. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, I'm, <laughs> I'm Morgana. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Um, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, um, I'm 29. Uh, I work in cybersecurity. Um, and I'm from Tampa. What else? <laughs> I don't know. What else would you like to know? Um, if you were gonna take me on a first date, what would you? What would we do? Hmm. Probably something I've never done before. So, let's say golfing. I feel like that's a pretty common thing. We could hit a quick nine. Maybe you're familiar. You could show me the ropes. If you don't know how to golf either, that'd be even funnier. Okay. And I'm not much of a golfer, so what's your backup <laughs> date? <laughs> um, first day, we could we could just start with something easy. Maybe go to Armature Works or something, get some drinks, maybe get a bottle of wine on the water. Okay. A little picnic. Okay, that sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can go with that one instead. <laughs> what is your type? What do you normally go for? I don't think I have a type. Um, it's kind of just... I would say I like I like nicer girls. I'm a, I'm fragile, um, so yeah. What's the last thing you Googled? <sighs> I don't. Uh, probably you. a gooner. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to meet you too. <laughs> so now we're gonna have our five gooners rank themselves by how they perceive themselves amongst each other, attractiveness from least to most attractive, and I'm ready for it to be a fucking bloodbath, so <laughs> speak amongst yourselves, get as vicious as you want, and then rank each other from one to five. Five is the most attractive, one is the least, so set yourself up in the way you think that should be. Five. This is most attractive, that's least attractive. All right, bet. Least so. attractive. Um, I'll just 
You got those nice tats. <laughs> what? Stop. You're one. Uh, trying to stay hip. If y'all put me in right. one, I'm going to smack you with this. You go in one. I'll take charge. You go in one. You just put him in least yeah. attractive? Yeah, two still. Oh, no. Oh, oh sorry. That's five. That's five. What do, you, what, do you, what do you want for the rest? Yeah, maybe you're Listen, four. Man, you took charge. Yeah, you can handle this. I'm going to put myself in two or three. Oh. I'll gladly take three. I like being in the middle. Okay. Uh, what can I do? Oh, I'm taking four. Of those. <laughs> you're five. You're five. We all know you're five. Where are you and come on? Mitch, yeah, yeah, come on. You're more attractive nah, nah, than me, dog. Look no, at you. Join the group. I like yeah, being one. I mean, this guy like looks like fucking Dr. Eggman. Yeah. Like <laughs> Dr. Eggman. <laughs> I got some reptiles on me, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yep. That's it. <laughs> How's it going? It's going. Welcome to our little abode. Oh, thanks. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. Just as awkward for us as it is for you. Very, we all very. It's way more awkward actually. No, you guys are all cute. You need to have some hesitation. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna bring you over here. Okay. <laughs> All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way, okay. Wait. All the way over here. Is that a real snake? Yeah. <laughs> just for you. Oh my god, wait. Are those yeah, do you have two? Yeah, bro, I'm for you. Okay. Gucci and Oasis. Oh my god. <laughs> well, good thing I'm not afraid of snakes. Let's go. <laughs> um because that would be bad. Yes, it would. Okay. So all right, back over here. <laughs> And then, yep, you. Yes, Mel. Yep, you over here. That's fine. We're good. Go, walk me through your thought process. Who are you eliminating? Um, so this one was a little tougher, but I think it's it's got to be Roman. Roman, sorry, crutches. I just don't know why anyone is an adult going to a trampoline park. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> and are these locked and loaded? You're 100% set on this. I'm, I'd say I'm 99%. Jordan. Oh, we're out, buddy. I just, he seemed a little too, too adventurous, too, too excited to go to the Everglades and mm. wrestle gators and. And you're more boring than is what that's sounding like to me. You're not ready for that kind of adventure in your life? I don't know about, I'm, I'm not ready for the Crocodile Dundee okay. style adventure. All right, well, <laughs> well darn. Excuse us. Love you, boys. Love you, that was just really hey, my you snake on you guys. guys. See you later, guys. All right, so we're down to three, and now I'm going to ask you guys some questions as a group, and based on your responses, I'm going to send two of you home, and then we'll be left with one. So you guys ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... I guess I'll start with you, Austin. How crazy is your ex on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> um, I, she's probably gonna watch this video at some point, I have to imagine, so. Careful with your answer. Yeah, um, uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half, <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll, I'll ask each of you. Mitch, how about you? How crazy is my ex on a scale of one to 10? She's, uh, I give her a 10 after we met, but before I met her, she was a three. Cool. What'd you do to make her so crazy? Just being me, I guess. I just, I don't know. She just, one day it's just something different sometimes. And like, so I'm like, okay. But she told me, yeah. I don't want to just be out here creating crazy people. So. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, we don't want that for you either. Not at all. No. Um, okay, how about you, Ryan? Um, probably like, Honestly, like a three, four, not too crazy, pretty normal. Okay, um, so follow-up question to that. Raise your hand if you're in therapy. Okay, we got one. Ooh. Therapy. Hey, it's not about my ex, by the way. I've been going since longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just hope that's clear, because you asked it as a follow-up, so I want to make it clear. She ain't traumatized you to send you to the therapy. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Ryan, this is for you. Who do you think would win in a fist fight between Mitch and Austin? Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair. I'm, I'm a sweetheart. No. We all are. I'm a That's sweetheart. okay. Are you saying That's you would fine. lose? Yeah, I, I've had a conversation with him. I, I don't, and I, Mitch, yeah. I don't know about that. I think I you would, would. You would beat me up. <laughs> Who do you think can do the most push-ups of the three of you? 
Good question. <laughs> Probably Mitch. No. No? no. I'm gonna guess I Ryan. Know. I don't know. I'm injured, so. Oh, so do we do it now? Are you just asking, or, are you, or is it gonna eventually yeah, go let's, to? Yeah, let's 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 see you guys. Oh, no. do, let's not? see you guys do. <laughs> yeah, what if we don't? Yeah, let's up? do ten push-ups. Ten. Ten. Oh you no. You guys can do ten. We can do ten. We can do ten. Right. No problem. Yeah, I'm just already picturing like <laughs> on this the, dirty floor. The, yeah, making fun of my form. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Now you guys are all over the place. <laughs> I believe that was 10. Yeah, it was Got my 10. Whose face is the reddest now? <laughs> Probably mine. <laughs> mine. Definitely not mine. Too. Which Harry Potter house are you guys in? Gryffindor. <clears throat> Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. Definitely Gryffindor. Why? Because we was raised on Harry Potter. Oh, we don't fuck with them other guys. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be on the good side. Yeah, I just yeah. gotta be on the good side. Identifying with the the good guys, yeah. you know, the greater good yeah, always yeah. usually. Are uh, the, the Hufflepuff are the good guys too? They are. Blue is my favorite color. Team Gwendolyn. <laughs> okay. Team Gwendolyn. And I, I don't know. The Ravenclaws are more like smart people. I don't know. They they have like a riddle to get into their house or something. So. What made you want to come here and find love? I'm looking for love, that's exactly why. I'm sick of being single and being alone. It's pretty pretty boring. Sick of just being in the cave, you know? Gooning. What's the cave? The goon cave? The goon. Isn't that why we're all here? <laughs> the goon cave. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, why do you think you're single? I uh, haven't found the right person yet. Uh, I thought I did, and then that didn't work out a while ago, so yeah. been uh, trying to be more selective since then. So what are you looking nice. for? Nice. Well, I'm looking for someone uh, nice, someone funny, someone who uh, is ambitious and wants to start a family. Okay. Is that a hickey on your neck? No. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> not too okay, single. Okay, Austin. Okay, no, I, I, hey, no, I, I, <laughs> not too no. single. No. I haven't kissed a girl in months. <laughs> if you guys would, would like to know. Um, you sly dog, you. Months? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mitch, why do you, why are you single? I need someone that that we what's the term for it? that we compliment each other. Mm -hmm. you know, like, gotta gotta compliment each other. Cause like I'm a major sapiosexual, so if you can't if we can't sit here and have a conversation on from ants on the ground to west on the sky, then it's gonna be kind of hard to keep it going, you know? It's like when you're attracted to someone's mind. Yes, it's fair. Yeah, okay. yeah, you do your research good. Yes, exactly. Sapiosexual is one I'm attracted to somebody's <laughs> mental. What are you looking for, Ryan? Um, basically, you know, very similar to what they've said, you know, somebody, somebody stable, nice, um, somebody very supportive. Uh, I have a lot of like nerdy hobbies and tendencies and yeah, things, you know, yeah, so, you know, I want, I want to, get a new sword in Dungeons and Dragons and have my girlfriend be like, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I want her to be... Yeah, and then when yeah. she's watching The Bachelorette or something... Exactly, like, I'll, I'll watch her, oh, what's that whatever show she again? wants, yeah, anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, a mutual, yeah. mutual support. Okay. Exactly. Who do you guys think I should exactly. send home? None of us. None of us. <laughs> I think you should send Ryan home. I think wow. that he's a great guy. <laughs> Well, honestly, I think you should send him home because it gets him out of the way for me. And I see him as wow. my biggest competition. No offense, Mitch. I think wow. he is a great guy. Yeah, okay. Guys, nice. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. I think you should send Austin home for saying that. That's fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to let you make your decision. I don't, I don't want to pick him. Thank you. I, re I respect that. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, How would you feel if you learned that I was on OnlyFans? Oh, oh, oh Mimi, Mimi. You go. Sure, go for it. I respect oh. it. That's like on some women empowerment, women, women empowerment. So if you had OnlyFans, I'll salute you. I would definitely salute you. Okay. Yeah. And then I ask you uh, if you need a manager. <laughs> I, I would help you. I would help you manage your profile. I check, I check your notifications. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. You know, we could hire like different different people to like like to film the content and stuff like that. Uh, I check your messages. I'll make sure you stay in tune with your fans and stuff like that. You know. Okay. So I we're gonna organize. we're in it together. We'll we'll, we'll we'll be we'll be partners. We'll be partners. I'll organize it for you. I would say it depends on the content you're producing. You know the kind of content. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, 
there are gray areas in there. I'd be okay with some and not okay with others. How about feet picks? Sure, go for it. Okay. Get that bag. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I'm kind of agree, agree with these two. Yeah, go yeah. for it. I mean, I think I think drawing the line would be content with other yeah. creators crossing a line for me. Yeah. Okay. For agreed, sure. Agreed. Got one more question for you guys. Would you say I'm your type? Definitely. Do you like anime? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can appreciate anime for what it is, but I don't seek it out myself. Oh. Typically. Okay, you're open minded. Cool. Well, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Okay. All right. All right. So I've made my decision. It was a tough decision to make, but it has to be done. The first guy that I'm going to eliminate is Austin. I felt like your first, like our first interview, or not interview, but our one on one just weren't that memorable. And your push-up form was pretty terrible. Wow. So. Okay. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, but. <laughs> it wasn't. All right, so the next guy I'm gonna eliminate. It's a really tough decision. You guys are both great. Me too. Fortunately, I just, I feel like I'm not crazy, and so, I have to eliminate you, Understood. Mitch, because I'm just, you make girls crazy, apparently. <laughs> gotta, gotta cut you loose. I appreciate the opportunity, though. Thank you. But it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. So, Ryan? <laughs> Hello. Do you, what, Hi. Nice to, like, really meet you. Yeah, you yeah. too, you too. You happy with your decision? <laughs> um, yeah, pretty happy. Cool. All right, all right, the final round. Can love blossom over a spaghetti dinner? So this is prepared by Publix. I was gonna say it's me, but it wasn't. We also have some cards to stimulate conversation, but feel free to go off script. You two just get very flirtatious, primal even. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, who picks up the check on a date and why? Oh, good question. I feel like there's no right answer in general, but I typically no, would. there's a right answer. In my, in my personal life, I take care of the check. Okay, why? Um, to, I, I'd like to be a gentleman, you know? Show that I care, especially because it's like if you ask them, you know, typically you should pay, but I don't expect that in return. That's just how I like to, how I like to treat it. Um, I, I would agree with all that. Those are good answers. Do you like spaghetti? <laughs> I do. Looks I looks delicious. I love public spaghetti. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. <laughs> that looks scrumptious. What a bite. <laughs> this man's going to <laughs> Flavor Town over there. Just get straight into it. <clears throat> okay. How much money do you make? Wow. Um, a good amount. <laughs> a good amount? That's a subjective. Okay, maybe, <laughs> I don't want to give a number, but maybe give me, narrow it down, help me narrow it down. Like six figures? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seven figures? No. <laughs> Let's do a little run through your criminal history. Oh, my criminal history. Wow. <laughs> Very extensive list. Um, I have been pulled over twice in my life, never received a ticket, once on a jet ski. <laughs> for jumping boat wake. Another time, uh, apparently illegal use of my horn because of a passenger in my seat reached over and honked my horn on my behalf. At the cop. At someone in front of me who was driving poorly. So did you and the cop make out to get out of the ticket? Wow, uh, no, we didn't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he gave me a warning. Are you a criminal? No, I've never been arrested. <clears throat> um, not a mug shawty? I have some speeding tickets, but not in several years. Okay. Your biggest crime is not eating more of this scrumptious spaghetti. <laughs> mm. I can't get enough. <laughs> I'm actually quite stuffed already. You have spaghetti all over your teeth. Mm, perfect. <laughs> do you pay for porn? No. <laughs> That's a funny question. No, I do not. So you don't have like a red tube subscription. I do not have a red tube subscription. All right. Have you ever paid for porn? 
Um, no. Not even like pay-per-view? No. Have you ever seen Kim Kardashian's sex tape? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have you? No. Do you want to have kids? Um, I think so. I, I do think so. How many? Um, I don't really know, but... How many is too many? I would say four or more would be too many. So you're cutting it off at three. Three would probably be max. I'm, I come from a family of three. I'm the, the baby boy of three boys. Oh. Um, and I feel like another head in that household would have been too much. Do you want boys or girls? Don't care. I'd be cool with anything. Just healthy. Yeah. For it. What do you like about me? <laughs> Why'd you ask it like that? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do I like about you? <laughs> like, nothing. Um, you look like you work out, so let's check. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Case closed. Um, no, I think you have good style. Mm -mm. I don't know, you're super nice, and you seem like you have a good sense of humor. You said I was your type, like, without any hesitation. And I liked that. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you like about me? Um, I like that you like my physique. Okay. <laughs> my appearance. <laughs> I like that you were willing to date gooners, but you, you, see, you also seem like you're, you're funny. You can, you can riff. Um, you took a bite of the meatball. I mean, that's points right there. No, yeah, I, I feel like we have good banter. Similar vibe. Similar vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I like the vibe. Yeah, get another bite, get in there. Oh, I, I don't mean to interrupt here, but you guys were, you seem to be really hitting it off. So then let's go ahead and let's get down to the brass tacks. Do you want some meatball? Nope. <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa. No, the, sh the, sh the chef never eats his own cuisine. Would you go on another date <clears throat> or would you rather have all of the money in my wallet? It's a mystery amount. The time taken here is not inspiring not confidence, Not a good brother. sign. <laughs> Well, the meatballs might just not be sitting right and yeah, just yeah. fighting through it. <laughs> that spaghetti is really something. We can definitely eat something a little bit nicer <laughs> on, a, on a date. We will pay for the second date, <clears throat> yeah. All, all expenses covered second date. I'm gonna take the money. Oh God, I'm going home. Wow. <laughs> Love is dead. <laughs> Love is dead. <laughs> oh God, well. At least you got to share a good meal together. I'm sure that'll be memories no one will forget anytime soon. Not the ending any of us hopeless romantics prayed for, but the ending many of you probably expected from the title. Gooners struggle to find love. So that's about all we have here for the other channel today, and I am extremely disappointed.